Hey guys, so you might have all of your streaming stuff set up properly and everything because you listened to my course on setting up OBS and setting up voice meter and other things like that, link down below, but you just have one fatal flaw. You see here everything is set up properly, but if you want to add some music, I mean, that won't be very hard to do that you know that you don't want it to be way louder than you so let's get some tunes in here so you really don't want your music to be way louder than you so you turn your browser volume down and since you set up spotify with um voice meter you can now open up spotify and have either or be your brow your music software that you're listening to in your headphones so you go to voice meter and you turn down your spotify tab all while you're listening to your main music and let's say you throw on some i don't know i don't know why that went way up let's say you throw on some You turn down Spotify, but oh wait. Stream can hear everything right now. You don't want Stream to hear everything because that's confusing. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make it to where Stream can hear your beautiful voice and two separate things. So first thing is first, what we are going to want to do is you're going to just want to go into your settings now you can click settings here or go up into file and then settings and then you're going to want to go on to stream now you have to connect a twitch account if you do not do this you will not be able to split your audio sources so for those of you who stream on youtube i'm sorry i might i'm gonna see if i can find a way to jerry rig it together where you can do this on youtube as well although on youtube you guys if, if you're streaming on youtube you already know if youtube even detects copyrighted music for more than 45 seconds they give you half a minute to fix it or they shut your stream down till you fix it so you don't really have much of a choice there do you so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into twitch so now that we're logged in, we're not going to mess with any of this because that's not what today's video is. That'll come in a later video. We're going to come down to output and you'll see this. Now you might be like, oh, well, where, where do we do the audio thing? We're going to simply go to simple, click on that and click advanced. And you can see here. Now this is where it gets funky. Now we're just going to want to click this box for Twitch VOD track. And our Twitch VOD track will be number two you can have it be number three number four number five number six all right that is all up to you for recording we want to um we want our recording track to be number okay very three. important here for your recording track you want to make sure that your microphone is on whatever track you select or it will not pick up your microphone and you'll be left wondering why you can't hear anything. You want to make sure that everything you want to pick up on your recording is on that audio track. Or really anything and if you don't record then that is fine. Now this is only for if you're recording right while you're streaming. So if you have this set to number three, what you can do is you can have it to where music does not go to that at all. And you just have a clean sample without any music. Now you can go here and configure your audio bitrate. I found that 160 is what a default set and that's what it, it like, I mean, it sounds good at 160. So now that you've done that, we need to remember one is what, or not one, but audio track is what Twitch stream will be hearing in that current moment. Uh, Twitch VOD track is what the VOD will hear. 
so they're gonna get the non-copyright strike stuff all right so we're gonna want to click apply and since we signed in you'll see these open up here so since we clicked apply and we signed in these now opened up that is if you are on stream elements I'm using stream elements for this I'm pretty sure you don't have to though so I'm gonna click done or I'm just gonna exit out of it uh, exit out of both of them it'll tell you all you need to do is go into docs and then you can reopen them but now that I have that configured it is time to configure our audio now if you right click here you can go to advanced audio properties now you see all these tracks are selected go through and unselect all of them great now that you've unselected all of them what we're going to do is we're going to go here this is browser so this is what our copyrighted music is going to be playing on all right great so we're going to set that to one because that is what our active uh, sound profile or whatever it's called I cannot remember but that's what twitch is going to hear now you can monitor the audio which basically just means it will play back what stream will hear but I don't do that I just ask them and hope that somebody will point it out now game audio you want game audio to be on every single source maybe if you don't want it to be then don't put it on but if you want VOD to hear game uh, audio you're gonna want game audio to be on both source one and source two same thing with your main microphone or any other microphone you're using this is a fresh profile that I put up made like a couple minutes before I started recording so I don't have all my microphones set up on it then for Spotify we do not want it to be playing on uh, our main source so now you can click close but glitch I hear you saying what happens if we have a lot of different uh, things like what if we're using overlays or what if we're using something else like that while well, I slap you with the boom smooth criminal transition boom smooth criminal transition so I have a lot of things here as you can see and one thing our game narration goes to every single one of these now all game narration is is my game audio but I have it set louder than um than the normal game audio that way if I'm going to a cinematic scene or something like that all I have to do is click the um, G audio on my stream deck and it will mute normal game audio and unmute game narration that way if a scene is quiet and cinematic you can hear it over the music I'm playing or over me talking etc etc but if we go back into this advanced audio property you'll see most of these are set on one and two my alerts voice mod um sound sound alerts say it live ttv now playing even though that's not an audio source you know mic slash aux which is one of my microphones and then mic which is another one of my audio uh microphones game narration is on all of them it doesn't have to be the only ones that aren't on all of them are, guess what spotify and browser and it's just that easy to set it up so you take your stream from from sounding like this to sounding like this I do hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to like subscribe and share the video if you didn't then you know what to do although no one will see it so they won't know it's a bad tutorial anyways I'll see you guys in the next one cheers